slower block times, changing block sizes, and sync issues. The network is growing extremely fast, and with such a rapidly growing network comes speed bumps and scaling challenges. We have to remember that it is good that we are facing these challenges because it means Helium and the network are growing rapidly and the network is being stress tested in real time. In this video, we will go over the latest update from the Helium team where they address these issues and explain what they are doing to get the network back to operating at 100%. We will also see what you can do at home to help work through this. Just remember, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the updates, we're gonna take a quick look at the price action here. Uh, it is a very interesting past few weeks here. Of course, we went, we shot up here to around $24 to the recent new highs, which is very exciting. But then we came, came back down rather sharply, and now we find ourselves here in a very interesting predicament. There seems to be this long lasting trend line. You can see there are a lot of instances where we have found support and resistance on this line here, and it looks like we are currently testing it. This is a four hour chart. Um, this is just a very small, um, not a very useful trend line, but it's the best we have here. The only, other, the only other thing we could really look at would be something like this, um, which I probably wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't rely on this at all. Um, so we're actually just gonna get rid of that. But I think that this here, connecting these tops here, this might be a decent formation to look at. Of course, we would like to hold this line here right around the $14, $60 range. And then as time goes on, it would be interesting to see what starts to happen, whether we break above this line or we fall below this line and if we stay there. So it's gonna be a very interesting next, uh, let's call it 12 or 16 hours for Helium. Um, so stay tuned and keep a close eye on this stuff. If we're going back over here to see how we've performed over the last few weeks, we have underperformed in the past week coming off of those all-time highs. However, back two weeks ago, we were in the 80 rank range um, by market cap. We did get all the way up to the low 60s, which was awesome. We're back now at 71, right in the middle there. So we have underperformed recently, but if we zoom out past seven days and consider like a 14 or 20 day performance, we have gained at least 10 ranks here in the market cap. So we have been performing well, especially considering our peers here in the 60 to 80 coins by market cap range. Before we get into the updates, guys, I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and please hit that like and notification bell as well. It will really help out the channel and help spread the word. Now, as you can see here, election times are up, block times are up, price is down. All three are red, meaning these are three things we do not want to be seeing. Let's see what these updates are all about and what the Helium team has to say about it. So guys, I put together a little PowerPoint here. It's been a while since making a PowerPoint, but I wanted this to be as clear and as concise and as straight to the point as possible. So let's see what they had to say. The first update they mentioned was the slower block times. They mentioned the main driver was due to recently added or just po more poorly performing hotspots being added to the consensus group. And of course, with almost a thousand hotspots being added a day, there are going to be more poorly performing hotspots rather than uh, well performing hotspots. So these poorly performing hotspots are really causing these slower block times meaning that the HNT um, rewards are taking longer to be created and distributed. Uh, the core team did mention they are working on the timeout periods and validation, but it's it really is swimming upstream due to just the rapid constant growth of the network. The second update they talked about was the proof of coverage and the rate interval. The point of co the proof of coverage interval has been updated to 240 blocks, so it's been updated, it's been increased to 480. The target block time is 60 seconds, meaning that a hotspot should be being targeted every eight hours on average. However, with the slow and lagging block times, that number is currently looking like 12 hours. The reward should stay at the same, uh, at, should stay the same per beacon, but are taking longer to arrive. And as a result, witnesses are also happening less often. The next, the next update they talked about was the rapid increase 
and hotspots. Like I said, there's about a thousand hotspots being added per day. If we do take a look right now, we're over 50,000 currently on the network. And this does mean that more hotspots are sharing the same HNT rewards, but they wanted to note that although the same HNT rewards are being distributed to more hotspots, it is not a linear relationship as some of these hotspots will not perform well and will not be earning as many HNT. So just because there are 10% more hotspots per day does not mean that there'll be 10% fewer rewards being rewarded to your, uh, your hotspot necessarily. Next, the hotspot sync issue, which has been uh, much more talked about than the others, I think, just due to, to everyone trying to get on the network, getting their new hotspots synced up. Um, so the core development team has issued a number of fixes to address the variety of sync issues over the past several weeks. These include new download targets for snapshots, improving relays, improvements to libp2p, which is a little bit technical, but it is a, it's a sort of a protocol network thing that they're working on and improving to help, help resolve this issue. Um, and they're also updating the validation timeout to support block production. Um, on the way, they mentioned uh, what these are some of the things they're working on. Um, some validators are expected to help support and stabilize the block times. Of course, this has been in the works for a while now. Once that's tested and running, this will significantly improve the network. Um, and I think we are getting towards the end of that so that we can expect that to be happening in the coming weeks and months, which is very exciting and will really help stabilize the network. Um, things we could do at home, a few things they recommended that, that hotspot owners and people uh, using the network can do at home. One, of course, ensure you have a stable connection, get ahead of a relay and adjust your network if that's possible where you are and with your setup. Um, and if you are still having sync issues to contact your hotspot manufacturer. And also, they wanted to mention, they, they made a point to mention that when you're looking at your network and you're comparing it to your peers, please use something more than a 24 hour time period, something like seven days or a month is much better to, to use as a reference guide as opposed to 24 hours due to the, the longer time that the, the network is taking to, to earn and distribute these rewards. And also lastly, of course, please be patient as the network is scaling. Um, do not think that this is some implosion of the network. It is nothing like that. It is just with a network growing so quickly, there are bound to be, there are bound to be issues with the network, but it is nothing that can't be fixed and it is being worked on as we speak. Guys, I hope you found this information helpful. I hope this puts a little bit in, into perspective some of the things you might've been seeing and being worried about. As far as I'm concerned, this is, this is expected with the network growing so quickly and it's good to see that the team is providing updates and they're all over this stuff. So I wouldn't be worried. Um, I, would, I would look forward to the future and to see how, once this is all cleared up, um, how the network is performing. It's very exciting times we're living in. Like I said, we're above 50K hotspots on this network. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, let's keep a, keep, a, keep an eye here on this four hour chart over the next, uh, let's call it 12 hours on where we go. Hopefully we can break this line here. That'd be really awesome to see. Um, gonna be very exciting, Let's uh, but stay tuned guys. Again, if you found this information helpful, I'd appreciate to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like the video if you found this helpful and please hit that notification bell to stay informed. Thanks for being here, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you next video.